All right, kids, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be doing a little maintenance on the Subaru. Uh, basically, just some preventative maintenance uh, or normal maintenance rather. Gonna be replacing the uh, air filter here, and then we're gonna be doing an oil change. And uh, basically, we're gonna to be topping off some fluid since it's winter time. Um, gonna be adding this. I also added the um, Rain-X additive and it works great for repelling not only water but snow and you know bugs from the road and I'm gonna be trying a new product from Shell everybody uh, with a lot of the turbo cars uh, from Volkswagens to diesel applications um, to Subarus was using the Rotella 5w40 but it wasn't compliant with Subaru warranty so they just came out with the 5w30 multi-vehicle which is supposed to be robust enough for you know extreme heat from turbos but also gonna be um, you know have have good properties as far as viscosity for lubrication and gasoline engines increase durability um, oil change interval I plan on running it <clears throat> probably 4,000 miles maybe 5,000 miles I'm gonna be checking my oil as I usually do um, at least once a week these EJ motors, um, they could surprise you. So I always check my motor. The guys that work are like, this guy's crazy. He's always checking his engine, his fluids and everything. You know what, I have a little OCD, but I had two other WRXs put about, <sighs> combined over 150,000 miles. The engines were pretty stout. Um, one of the WRXs was tuned, the other one was stock. And it was great, you know. I think I'm a firm believer if you respect your your um you know your property um especially a modified vehicle they're going to respect you back so this one is completely bone stock it's just hitting about 18,000 and change and uh the only thing is this little protector from some rocks and stuff that was coming through the hood scoop and road debris um that's it you can see the stock airbox uh, i'm going to be using a OEM Subaru filter so I like to stick to the script and you know maybe one day I'll build this engine but right now it's my, my daily driver, my commuter. I'm going to be looking to do a, <clears throat> an oil analysis with the Shell Rotella 5W30 after the, you know, the oil change at 4,000 or 5,000 miles because I'd like to compare it to a really good oil such as the Redline 5W30 which everybody knows is a very very good quality motor oil. However it's a little pricey but I don't you know, I'm not going to cheap out on quality fluids, especially when, if you do, it could be detrimental to a motor, which, hey, pay a couple extra dollars now instead of a few thousand later, you know? Measure twice, cut once. So I'm going to do the um, oil change analysis on the Rotella 5W30, and then I'm going to run the red line, and I'm going to do a comparison for guys that are maybe looking for a different oil to try instead of the red line. Um, again, this is stock. This is a stock EJ257. So this is going to be a good platform for comparison because when you start adding variables like aftermarket tombs and aftermarket parts, then you really don't know. There's too many variables. So this should be a very good um, starting point or benchmark to see how well or how not well this Rotella T6 multi-vehicle 5W30 performs in a stock EJ257. And then we're going to do the red line and we're gonna run the uh, oil analysis from Blackstone Labs. All right, so stay tuned guys, it should be good.